Yo, yo, yo. Mobile home Matt down here, Tucson, Arizona. I'm in the process of purchasing a mobile home from a family. This video is gonna be about mobile home transport. Now, every single day I get a call from someone asking me how much does it cost to move a mobile home? Just an incredibly frustrating question to ask because there's a lot of different factors that play into the cost of mobile home transport. So every time I buy a mobile home, and it's a, on a private piece of property. Uh, typically, I have to transport the home back to my yard prior to selling. Now, there's different reasons why you might wanna transport your mobile home. Maybe you're buying a mobile home from factory. Maybe you're in the process of you know, inheriting a mobile home and trying to get it to your property. There's a lot of different reasons why you might be moving a mobile home, but there's a lot of different factors that play into the actual cost of the transport. And I'm just gonna walk through what I think the transport cost realistically is gonna be. That factors into my offer, and you know, hopefully I can uh, shed some light on uh, typical mobile home transport costs. Okay, so this is the mobile home, it's a single wide. Now, typically, if I'm transporting a mobile home in Phoenix, Arizona, the cost is gonna be around $3,000. So that's your starting price, right? And that's typically, uh, your transporter is gonna include a tear down. So tear down is how you put the mobile home on wheels. Um, you know, typically right now, this mobile home is sitting on piers, it's sitting on um, essentially the base or foundation or, or, you know, however the mobile home's sitting. To get the mobile home on wheels and ready to roll, that is called the tear down. Once the mobile home is tore down on wheels, the, the axles are attached, the hitch is attached, now the mobile home is ready for transport, there's gonna be a separate fee, the transport costs. So depending on if you buy the mobile home from a factory, the mobile home is already gonna be on wheels with the hitch attached, ready for transport. If it's ready for transport, there's a couple different ways that a transporter is gonna quote the job. They're gonna charge a hookup fee or they're just gonna charge what's called a weighted mile. A weighted mile is the second that they're attached to the mobile home, distance from the factory or the lot where the mobile home is sitting to the end destination. So say the mobile home is in Phoenix, it's going to Tucson, Arizona, which is exactly 100 miles away. They are gonna charge you for 100 miles of weight. Say their rate is $7 a mile, that's gonna be a $700 transport just for delivery. Now typically a transporter is gonna have a teardown fee. So teardown fees for a mobile home are typically anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000. That's where in in-town delivery in Phoenix, they'll typically throw in 30 miles of delivery. Uh, that's going to run you about $3,000 to $3,500. Now there's a lot of different factors outside of that that play into the cost. Sometimes the mobile homes are ground set, so they have to dig out with the bobcat around the home. That's going to run you typically about $600 to $700 to dig out a mobile home. Uh, sometimes there's awnings, so to detach awnings, uh, that's going to cost you another 500 potentially. Uh, sometimes you have to disconnect utilities, some people will charge for that. Uh, sometimes you're going to have a concrete pad all the way around the home, and sometimes they'll have to dig it out, or sometimes a mobile home park will make you dig it out and remove concrete. So there's a lot of different factors that go into mobile home transport costs. Now, this double wide over here, double wides are a different beast. I don't own this one, I'm not buying this one, but double wides typically are gonna run about twice the cost. So an in-town delivery for a double wide in Phoenix, Arizona, it's probably gonna be about $5,000. Now with the double wides, they have to split this home in half, they have to wrap the home, and they have to put two mobile homes each side on wheels uh, during the teardown. So that's why uh, your cost is going to be essentially double. Also, you're going to have two different delivery fees. So if their going rate is 500 to hook up for each half and five dollars per mile, which used to be sort of the going rate, you're going to have two separate deliveries. So if you're going your 100 miles from Phoenix to Tucson, you're looking at 500 plus the 500 hookup. So you're looking at a thousand for each half for delivery. Now with the crazy diesel prices and fuel prices, I don't know what the going rate is right now. I've been seeing $14 per weighted mile with no hookup costs. I've been seeing you know, closer to seven, $8 a mile, weighted mile. So you're gonna have to call around. But 
when you're calling to get a quote, uh, see what they're charging for. So see if they're charging per weighted mile. Uh, that'll give you a better idea. See if they have a hookup fee. One thing I forgot to mention, width also mention, or matters. So the width of the mobile home, this is a 14 wide. You're gonna have to figure out what your state permit requires. So here in Arizona, 14 wides don't need special escort cars. A 16 wide, you're gonna need a police escort. And depending on where your mobile home's traveling, if it's going out past Globe, Arizona, that's gonna require even more special escorts. Uh, another factor, is clearance so for this mobile home there's plenty of room to get it out but sometimes mobile homes are in very tight situations where either you're gonna have to take a fence post out or sometimes they have to use what's called a crawler crawlers are gonna be an additional fee if they have to roll the mobile home out you know through a tight angle they can't get their truck to pull it out that's gonna be an additional fee so there's a lot of different factors that actually go into determining the transport cost and you know when someone asks hey how much is it going to cost that's sort of asking you know a loaded question like there's a lot of different variables um you know we we need to know your your end goal your end situation in order to help you out try to get you um you know if i'm buying a mobile home i have to provide my transporter all these details in advance just so he can get me an accurate quote but you know knowing all these sort of variables having a good idea of how the transport works um allows you to make a better offer allows you to inform you know the seller that hey this is what's going on uh, this is how much it's really realistically going to cost me to get this mobile home out and um, you know that way we can just be as upfront and honest as possible during the whole process so hopefully you enjoyed the video as always mobile home mat using my brand new gimbal still trying to pump out content and whatnot and uh, hopefully you took a couple uh, tidbits away from this video. I uh, hope you have a good day. It is Wednesday. Uh, catch you later.